Well, uh, not a bad week for yours truly with the WCTC Pro Football Pick'em Challenge. Thank goodness to a, a nice comeback for the Kansas City Chiefs last night and a couple of other games that I had. Uh, myself and Tommy G actually tied uh, for the Week 4 win with the VIPs uh, with the 11 wins apiece. How does Tommy do it? It seems like week after week Tommy does really well. Uh, our other VIP competitor joins me now on the Miller Lite Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. He's the general manager of Ray Katina Mercedes-Benz uh, of Edison, and it's great to welcome back uh, Doug Wells. Hey, Doug, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How are you? Hey, Bert. How are you? I missed you on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I needed some extra time to prepare for my uh, my picks, and I think it paid off because uh, I had 11 out of 15 uh, this weekend. Not so bad. Not so bad. I, I, you can see that I'm too busy making sure everybody gets the right car for the right price. Good for you. You know what? I don't, I don't have time to focus on it. That is much more <laughs> valuable a service to provide, Doug. I agree. Speaking of cars, uh, talk about what car you're driving around these days. I'm driving a uh, 2019 C300 convertible. Nice, and uh, this weather's still good. You could uh, you could use that convertible top, right? Uh, this weather's great, and with these cars, the way they're set up, you know, it could be 50 degrees, you could roll the windows down. I mean, I'll put the heated seats on, the heated air scarf, and drive with the top down and be completely comfortable. Man, I like that. That's good stuff right there. And they're in stock. You can come in and take one out for a ride. They're in stock. You can come in, take a look at them, take one for a test drive, and see what it's all about. Yeah, beautiful. Good stuff. So uh, go say hello to Doug and everybody at Mercedes-Benz of Edison, Route 1 in Edison, uh, RayCatinaEdison.com. And, uh, wow, they got some great cars there, that's for sure. All right, uh, Doug, uh, recapping the week four that just went by, uh, as uh, you heard me say, Tommy G and I both with 11 out of 15. Uh, Doug Wells, a very respectable 8 out of 15, not so bad. There were a couple of uh, picks. Uh, one in particular kind of jumped out at me. Did you really think the Jets were going to beat Jacksonville last week? What, what led you to think that Jacksonville was going to lose to New York? I just had a, I had a, you know, it was more probably my heart than my uh, my uh, gut, and I was hoping that they were going to try and you know come up with a hell of a defense. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, well, we'll see. They, they get Denver next week, and uh, we'll talk about that when we get to later on in the week here on Thursday. But some of the picks uh, that Doug and I had uh, unanimously, we had the Rams over Minnesota. That was the... Thursday night game, and uh, that young quarterback for the Rams, uh, he is uh, putting up some big numbers there. And uh, they, uh, uh, he, yeah, he's good, right? He crushed it. Yeah, he's got some, he, he's a, a great talent there. Uh, Cincinnati at Atlanta, my uh, barren household rule of, of taking cat teams was the only reason I had Cincinnati beating Atlanta, and uh, I was uh, the only one of us who was right on that one. We all lost Philadelphia at Tennessee, and it seems like, Doug, now that we're in week four, it seems like all these games are either they're decided by one score, you know, whether it's three or four points, or the lead changes hands several times over the course of a game. I, I can't remember a, a season or a week here that went by that it's so difficult to choose. And if you're behind, you just say, well, don't worry about it. It's only one score. We're going to score, and we're going to take the lead, and I'm going to win this thing. The games are that competitive. Have you noticed that, too, so far this season? I do, and it's... Uh, uh... It's you see. Uh, I mean, for us, how many think about how many ties you've had already this year? Yeah, and to have two ties uh, played already, uh, I think it could be also now that they've they've scaled the overtime back to just ten minutes now because I guess they want to get the uh, get that game off the air and get the next one on. So maybe that's the reason that we've had some ties, and we almost had another tie that Cleveland Oakland game. Uh, that was another crazy game that went deep into the overtime, and uh, you had picked the Cleveland Browns. I was so close to picking Cleveland because after they beat the Jets and. That was another game. They had a huge lead and just couldn't hold on. But uh, if you like points, that cleveland Oaken game was a good one to watch. Oh, yeah, 100%. How about, and how about, uh, remember I told you, New England was going to come back with a whole different attitude yeah. against the Dolphins? You know what? You you were spot on. And Miami goes in 3-0, and a little bit of swagger, and they go to New England, and they just, just get pounded. And you were right. The uh, the Patriots, you know, uh, Belichick is not going to let that uh, that 1-2 and two record go for too long. But, uh, yeah, you were exactly right on that one. Uh, so congratulations to you on picking the Patriots there. Uh, we were unanimous in Green Bay's win over Buffalo. That was uh, pretty simple. Uh, Chicago, another unanimous pick for us in beating Tampa Bay. I think the Buccaneers uh, coming back to reality a little bit now. I mean, uh, Fitzpatrick plays. They were supposed to go 0-3. They go 2-1. and They bench him. They bring in famous Jameis, and uh, they get nothing done. I don't know. Do they go back now to, 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 to the other quarterback now, Doug? Do you go back to uh, Fitzpatrick, or do you stay with Jameis Winston? Well, I think they have a bye week this week. Okay, and I think that that when they come back, they're going to come back with their young with their young quarterback. Okay, so they got a week uh, to think about it. Okay, uh, you had Dallas beating the Lions, and that was thanks to a, a last second field goal there as time expired that the uh, Cowboys beat the Lions. 
Uh, we all had Seattle over Arizona. Boy, the Arizona Cardinals are really having trouble. That was a team that kind of flirted with going to a Super Bowl a couple years ago. Uh, quarterback problems, and uh, they still got Larry Fitzgerald, who's maybe one of the best wide receivers ever, but uh, they got some quarterback issues and some offense problems there, uh, and uh, that kind of showed. They got out to a lead against Seattle, but it didn't last. Uh, L.A. Chargers uh, over San Francisco, a unanimous pick for us. Giants uh, and the Saints. Uh, I had the Saints uh, going into this one, and you had the Giants. Were you hoping that maybe the momentum from the win over Houston was going to carry for another week, Doug? I was hoping so, and the Giants looked like they were there in the uh, uh, in the first half. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, then they just had one mistake after another, and yeah. it just cost them. That's what happens. Uh, we all had Pittsburgh uh, beating Baltimore in the Sunday night game, and uh, these aren't the Steelers that we grew up with because they're 0-2 at home, which is hard to believe. But uh, no, none of us had that one, and uh, all of us uh, all had the Kansas City Chiefs uh, beating Denver. It was a last, it was a fourth uh, quarter late rally with two touchdowns, and uh, Kansas City continues uh, to be undefeated. They're still 4-0 uh, with the win at Denver last night, and we all had that one. So, of course, you can play right alongside us at our website, WCTCAM.com. It is the Pro Football Pick'em Challenge. Weekly winners get uh, Rutgers football tickets. So uh, congratulations to the winner this week. It was uh, a player from Piscataway who uh, was our uh, had 12 out of 15 and uh, was our weekly winner. So congratulations, and we'll give away some Rutgers tickets. And for the winner at the end of the season, Doug, a couple prizes await them, including the uh, remote control car. You want to talk about what that's all about? That's just a great. Uh, it's a great item for uh, for a child, and start at uh, young. It's uh, they have the ability to drive the car themselves, or they have the ability to. Uh, there's a remote control where you can drive them around. As a matter of fact, somebody posted one the other day on uh, on YouTube, and it made the news uh, where the where their young uh, their young child. <laughs> falling asleep in it as they were driving them around. <laughs> right. so. Nice. I saw that. I didn't know that that was the one of the cars there. That's very cool. Okay. And uh, the winner is also going to receive uh, for them and a guest uh, a nice complimentary dinner at the end of the season. And depending upon who wins between Doug Wells or myself, uh, we'll see who's going to foot the bill for this nice dinner that the four of us are going to have. But uh, that's the other incentive for our, our season winner. Uh, is going to get treated to a, a nice dinner along with uh, the guest that they're choosing. So, all right, and right now, and right now, it looks like I'm buying. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? A lot could happen, and trust me, uh, my skills diminish as the season goes along, Doug. So, uh, trust me on that. But uh, we'll talk again on Thursday. We'll take a look at Week Five that is coming up. But of course, uh, you can play right alongside Doug Wells and I every week at WCTCAM.com. Doug Wells, uh, General Manager, Mercedes-Benz of Edison, thanks for the time this morning. Good luck this week, and uh, we'll talk Thursday and go through a couple of our picks for Week 5, okay? You got it. Thank you.